<laughs> a young man called um, Tom McInerney. He was a young makeup artist. He was there's a place in Dublin called DIT, and they do film, uh, <laughs> etc. And that's obviously a photograph. Yeah. Uh, they do film, etc. Of of uh, they teach kids in, in, in film. And I rang them and said, look, if you have a, if you have any good makeup artists, and they said we've got one guy who's really really good. And Tom McInerney came out to see me, and I said, I told, I said, do you know the radio series? And he said, yeah, everybody knew it at that stage. I said, well, I want you to make me up as Mrs. Bell. No mirror. Because when you're finished, if I turn around and look in the mirror and I don't see Mrs. Brown, I don't want to do it. Mm. I'll get somebody else to do it. So he went along and uh, he made it, and he said, something missing. A mole. <laughs> <laughs> and he went and he made a mole, and he stuck it on, and he said, OK, I'm done. And I turned around and I looked, and I went, oh, my God, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> And it, and it was it was ours. It now was. we always say that this is the best job in television because we get sort of to pay to hang out with all of our mates. But actually, when I think about it, you guys have got the best job in television because your whole family are involved pretty yeah. much, aren't they? Yeah, it is. And it, yeah, you love a Jenny, don't yeah, you? Oh, all the grandchildren around. Yeah, and this uh, this year we're very lucky. On the Christmas Day episode, we have our two eldest grandchildren are both in the episode. Oh, oh hi there. Yeah. Excuse me. Playing. One second. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Only a mother could you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, have a look at this photograph behind yes. you. Tell us who everybody is, because we say that you, you know you May do with up? your family. Yeah, go on, sure. Brendan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is me. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, starting on the left. This is this is Dermot O'Neill. Uh, Dermot was my window cleaner. <laughs> he, was a, he was a window cleaner about 25 years ago, and uh, he started helping me in and out with my gear when I was doing stand up. Uh, I told him at the time I couldn't afford to pay him, and he said, that doesn't matter. <laughs> so then as I got busier, he came on the road with me, um, gave up his ladder, <laughs> and gave up, gave up his career. And then uh, I said, look, we better... He, learned, he started doing lights then, then he started doing sound, then he started, we trained him as a, a stage manager when we started to do plays. Wow. And then one night I was doing my second play called Grandad Shirley is Still Alive. And there was a part in it where an elderly man had to come on and do a soft shoe shuffle. We were auditioning for a play, in the play. And uh, he, just had to, he just had to say one word. I said, have you any experience? And he had to say, no. So I said, <laughs> you're doing that. And he went, what? I said, you're doing that. Well, he was going back for an hour behind stage. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, he's become granddad. Uh, Pat, Pepsi Shields, Pepsi was my roadie. Um, he started off with Rowley and then came in so as the voice funny. of Mark. He's an amazingly talented man. He can play absolutely any instrument. He can sing in any voice. He can mimic any... Uh, he's just an incredibly talented man and probably the laziest man on two legs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he should be a bigger star than any of us are. This is a beautiful girl that I met one day. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, who keeps me alive. Aww. This is uh, Amanda Woods. Amanda was an actress at the show and she fell in love with him. It was Danny, my son. In reality? <laughs> yeah. In real, reality. They then, they then married. Oh. So she's now my daughter-in-law. Oh. So in the show, she plays my daughter-in-law as well. And uh, this is Paddy. Paddy was Danny's best friend in school. And I remember Paddy coming <laughs> in. Love he it. was about five or six years of age, and he'd come into the house, and Danny would say, Paddy's going to be an actor. And I used to say to Danny, Danny, if there was ever a kid who's not going to be an actor, it's Paddy. <laughs> <laughs> and the first play he did for us, all, all of the family worked backstage first. They all is uh, wardrobe, they've done sound, they've done lights, and it's important that they understand, as, as you guys yeah, do, yeah, that yeah, all these yeah, people who mm. everybody's not seeing are the people who really make the show. We just front it. So it's important they know what everybody else does to make them look good. So Paddy started sweeping the stage, literally, and then eventually he played Ben in uh, one of my plays called The Course. He was 18 years of age, he was playing a 25 year old country bumpkin, and he Stole the show. <laughs> this is my daughter Fiona. Oh. Fiona uh, plays Marie in the show. She's just given birth to our fifth grandson. Oh, wow. Um, I love it. Uh, Isaac. In real life, she's married to Trevor. She's well, married to Trevor. Uh, who's the we're going to have to finish the story. Will you stay over the break so we can finish to, yeah. the story? Because we're going to go to break. But we want to hear. Show, show. We've got another three to get. Finish the break. I'll do the break for you if you like. <laughs>